hello guys hello guys so this is interesting i'm going to be explaining this design for you guys right and just pay close attention to what i am about to say so you can see the way it loads from the start screen right so this point <coughs> right so let me just start with the start screen two screens i could as, as well use one screen for this right and just you know um use my green interaction and, and just do both interaction here but i use two screens not new white but i mean but i use two screens right but the gist is there is one element here with zero opacity that's it right that became big at this point so i used what instant delay and of course smart animate then gentle as transition hence this smooth you see that the bouncy effect right gentle bouncy effect not too bouncy bouncy effect just make it spring but when it's gentle you see it just comes out really nice okay so yeah after that after the lead to the next screen then to this screen here guys let me explain my design decisions here right before i even explain this one all you need to know is that firstly i did not use white <laughs> okay i'm running away from white like plague and I already told you guys why I'm doing that. Okay, so I used the um, F5, L5, right, like so. Then place their what's the word logo, which I got from their website, SVG. I got it from their website, guys, right. And then here, just something subtle, right. Now let me explain the concept behind the screen. Again, it's a get started screen. It leads them to create an account or login if they already have an existing account. Or then just get started um, exploring the marketplace if they do not want to do any of this both if they, if they don't want to do any of this right so yes that's exactly what happened right so kept it really soft so so the eyes will not be drawn there i think i made that same decision for the last design i made all right so another spectacular thing is this frame here you can see that there is gradient here but it's very subtle the reason being that I always tell people to use HSB, right? Why? Because with HSB, you almost cannot miss it, right? You can tell exactly, um, you can tell the distance, right? The differences of your brightness easily, right? Making sure it's as subtle and it's not far, it's it's as subtle as possible so regardless of the screen you are using with your b you can tell that okay this is just how many um, figures or value away from the other one this way i was able to create a very subtle linear gradient right that's why you have it like this it's very subtle you can tell the upper part is a little bit bright compared to the down part none of them is black right none of them is black hence why it's even more subtle right so uh, yeah just so you know also this guy here is not his black <laughs> 95 brightness all right so same as this i did not use black 58 brightness all right so yeah now of course the reason this to visual contrast you can't expect these two to share the same contrast like one has to value for the other one all right so yes same thing for this button i did a sort of gradient there you can see it if you look hard enough <laughs> you don't need to look hard enough it's there but just that the distance was not that much okay i'm using white here i should be crucified guys <laughs> i saw white either is and you don't just do that all right so uh yeah like that and then here too i didn't even use white here imagine just made this really subtle right deprioritize this and then prioritize this right so that way again there is visual contrast right so people know that this is an action they can just click on it it locks them in all right so that's it then for this interaction here you might be asking i used micro interaction there is three different interaction one two three like so right created different variant all right and then adjusted them accordingly right and then my prototype mode was quite straightforward i used 
after delay and smarter name then make it slow you know the last one we, we use instant for the football prototype we did but this one we needed that intelligence hence the, the you know the scaling down and scaling up all of that we needed it all right so yeah i did the same thing across board and then sent it back so it's now like in, on infinity loop <laughs> right so let's go into the design all right so this design here I think the decisions I made here also was quite was kind of like brilliant, all right? And also I didn't mention that I made this guy. I think this guy here, this guy. You see the 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 uh, italic decision I made here. It was so cool. I see people like Lay and some other designers make decisions like that. It just gives tease to your design, really. I believe it makes your design a lot more visually interesting right especially when you emphasize on keywords that matters a right magic like let's get you a right right means and like now you don't bend it that's how i like to see it though now bend it it means like moving forward let's go <laughs> same thing for this i think i made use of rent out here right so rent let's go all right so yeah, that. Um, so this here, you can see the transition. I think this particular guy, I could have made it better. Here, it was supposed to take form of 14, um, 14, this, and this one was supposed to scale right around 8 point something, and then take position of this. So in case I'm scaling, this one to below it. It's killing, you see that. All right, now you can tell that this design is somehow filtered, right? Because the filter point is what showing to meaning that you included two parameters that you are using to filter your search, which of course normally would make your search limited. Okay, all right, or maybe narrowed down. That's the word. So these two here, I didn't even use. I didn't use um gray here. I simply made it white. Hmm. I simply made it white and dropped the opacity. Right? Same to this guy. This guy said I did use shade um grays. Right? Shade of grays here. But here I used white and dropped the opacity. Okay. So yes, this guy not white. It's not supposed to be white. Probably just drop it down a little bit. Normally I'm supposed to have a style guide. Unfortunately, we do not have a style guide right now. <laughs> but yeah, so this guy here, let me go to the main card. It's a component, guys. This is component. I made this guy here glass buffering background blur and 86 opacity. So that way it was laying down image like this. You can see this kind of effect. Image that has a contrasting background or texturized background or rough background all right so this year you can see the way my card looks it is not normal it's not normal card it is it has an ios corner smoothing like this is normal this is normal so you see the kind of like it gives it it, it gave it this tease <laughs> it does really for real though it does um yeah and then my icons, my asking where I get my icon from SVG Pro, SVG Repo. When I'm not using icon, iconly, I use SVG Pro. Free icons there, they choke, right? So back to this guy. So this card here, you can tell that this card is also what um, gradient, just ninety five, and then sorry seventy five and ninety five. And 97 so it's very subtle you almost cannot tell it just blends it stays it keeps the idea of established from the start screen consistent that's what we i see right okay so yeah and then for the scaling i use two screens i can achieve this with micro components but i am not doing that because i don't want to stress but what i did was just simple have more simple cards like so when you do that, duplicate it, switch to the next screen, 
scale the other one down. I use my K tool to scale like this. Um, my K, right? My scale, or you just come here and press your scale. I scale it down and bring the other one. I scale this down and bring this one here or with my K tool like so. And then just adjusted the screen on the next uh, design. Exactly what I did. In that decision, I think I made what I was good. I'm not going to lie. Is this gradient over here right it's really cool again the idea i started has to has to be sovereign <laughs> the concept of gradients you guys did you get me so that and then i love the navigation oh my god i love the navigation and the reason i do is because i personally think it's unique right imagine a navigation where like remember there is home and history next to this next to this next to this to home is history what if you now click on history and then this guy now deprioritizes right i'm just giving an instance of this guy now deprioritizes right and then this guy then comes priority then with his own text it will be so cool I feel like there's a lot that can be done with this navigation bar. It's just, it's neat. I kid you not. It's so neat. It's really for a car industry that does not need settings as much. It just needs history and then home. Right? So, so it makes sense when you make this just like that. And then people come here and say that, okay, this is actually settings. So to click on this. And then see that this is actually settings and this is home. I don't know how to explain it, but it just makes sense. It just makes sense. But then this screen here, there's a lot of inconsistency here. I personally do think so, right? At some point, I was thinking like this shadow need not be um like just be flat like this. Right? But there's there was so much going on in my mind, probably because I was tired, right? I was not seeing clearly anymore. I was not seeing straight okay but then i think i love the decision i made here imagine putting your reviews here and you click and then there's like a bottom sheet showing comments and reviews that have been made about the car and then here is obviously your bookmark to bookmark a car i did not put it here because i don't think you should be bookmarking a car that you've not seen the details right i think i'm at it now it might be cool because apparently we just want to be i don't think you should be bookmarking a car you must see the details right same thing as tweets i don't think you should be able to bookmark a tweet if you've not even read the thread or you've not opened the thread if it, if it's a thread right so yeah anyways i might be wrong sir. i can i can do this add it up it's not that deep um it's actually the boat. Then I use this car image here from I think Google. I got it from Google. Right. So I also use the fright display um font typeface here. It was really nice. Okay. So I put my price here. Here I deprioritize it uh, with the uh, with gray, like just to make it not compete with the actual price itself it's so complimentary it's not supposed to shout as much as this all right all right so um yeah same thing for all of this ones here same thing for everything you see there uh yeah and then for and then there's like a sort of shadow around it with um a border radius mm, with yeah with the stroke that i was hoping that I could do something with that really but the moment you start to introduce stroke in a design like this it starts going it starts looking clickable and the goal is not to make it look clickable this guy looks clickable the goal is to make it look like so like there's data being presented to you not that it's clickable so uh, at some point i even thought of like where probably i should just make it shade like this which i'm beginning to even find it's beginning to slap more. Facts. Facts. Facts, guys. 
fact i i don't need no drop shadow i don't need no stroke anymore i think i just need it to look like this right i need it to look like this that way it's not looking clickable it just looks like okay data is actually really being presented so you know how this stuff works now you bring it down and this guy here you lock it down right and you make it worth fixed you don't even need to make it fixed provided it's locked to the down does it do i need to make it fixed but i do need to make it fixed sad all right so we have something like this the same thing to the top you can turn this into auto layout this to make sure that together turn it into a little auto layout give it the gap of 24 center it right draw it like so so you can see 18 is like that gap so give it a feel give it feel like so see and then we can make this right around top this where i said and then turn this to fix so that way now when you are scrolling you have something like this now you can choose to even make you can make go for that and make this guy um background bad background blood this guy i don't even mind i think i've been doing that like a lot recently like you see something like that increase intensity so it does not actually the design is not sending updates oh oh i went to that touch the layer opacity instead of the fill opacity so now we have something like this you see so i think that's something you want to explore all right so i think we just made a very brilliant decision guys very brilliant decision all right so yeah close to you guys um yeah they used um, auto layout yeah and then just you know like that okay and you guys should and i think i like the decision i made here. this thing looks so good in the eyes it looks so good in the eyes all right so you guys should have a nice day right i'm looking forward to your design if at all you are working on this design right so shout out to you guys love you guys bye <laughs>